Brexit. Now there's CalExit. A group in California is working to secede from the union. It's not going to fall off in the ocean. It's just going to become its own country. This is all spurred, of course, by the election of Donald Trump. The state wants a vote in the next two to three years. The plan to kick off the effort with a ballot initiative. Joining us now is Marcus Ruiz Evans. He's vice president of Yes California, the group behind the secession movement. Marcus, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Tucker. I really appreciate the opportunity to come out here oh, and speak course. to all of you. Oh, of course. I'm from audience. California, and I'm, and I'm interested in I what's know. going on there. Um, so the last time a state tried this, I think, was April of 60, 1861, when South Carolina uh, made a secession move, and it didn't end well. Is it going to end better for California, do you think? Yeah, because we're fundamentally trying for uh, secession from America for fundamentally different reasons than the Confederacy did. Uh -huh. And uh, we're pursuing a very different legal mechanism. Uh, just off the top, uh, the South did not want to have a good partnership with the North, and they were against equal rights for minorities. Yes, California is saying that California is the most diverse place in the world and that we want to have more minorities, more immigrants, more international connection, and essentially reject the values espoused by the Confederacy and whatever states formed it. Additionally, they huh. tried to do violent unilateral secession. And when we look right. at Texas versus White, which is the only federal Supreme Court case ever in America's history to look at secession, they said, you can't do that, but you can. And this is the literal phrase in that uh, court case that you won't see repeated in the news for whatever reason. I'm sure it's an accident. Is that states literally can leave through consent of the states. So the phrase right. consent no, of right. the states is in there. I, I, th I think that that's all true. I guess in reading your materials, you say that basically it's an ideological move. This is accelerated since the election of Trump. California did not vote for Trump. That's an understatement. And you guys want to move out and make it a kind of liberal utopia. Immigration is one of the issues that you mentioned. Would you open the border, your southern border, with Mexico wide and let all of Central America, to the extent, to the extent it already hasn't, uh, move to California? Would you have any closed border at all? And if so, why? Every nation has to have borders and border controls and a functioning border. Uh, yes, California wants a more uh, open immigration system and a working immigration system. And the fact is, is that when we're talking about border controls, uh, who's in charge of immigration? Who's in charge of the visas? Who's in charge of the border? Who has always been in charge of those things? The federal government. And they've totally right. failed. The fact well, is, but, is no, that but, the federal wait, government wait, hasn't to be, to be done fair, comprehensive... Can't... No, that's true, it hasn't, but California does encourage people to come by issuing, for example, driver's license for illegal immigrants, uh, among other things. But, but one, of the, one of the results of massive immigration into California is, when I was growing up, it was the richest state, and now it has more poverty than any state. Almost a third of the state is in poverty. L.A. is the, the poorest big city in America. If you were to let millions and millions more of low-skilled laborers come into the state, how would it get richer? Right. So the poverty is not because of the undocumented immigrants. Uh, it's because we lose 16 to 32 billion dollars a year. It's because Silicon Valley is one of the major economic drivers of California. It loses about three billion dollars a year because America's foreign image is so horrible that foreign countries will not buy technology products from California. So oh, we lose on. money. Additionally, our trade it's deals, because your middle which class California to needs, Denver. are held up by about <laughs> 10 years. So uh -huh. it's the federal government impeding California from making money in the billions of dollars that actually allows us to be impoverished and not keep people employed. Okay. I mean, I don't love the federal government either, but that does seem like blaming the Russians for the election results, maybe a little bit of denial. Let me ask you about this. The, the, the <laughs> I saw the, the interview with you and the guy who called you a Russian spy. I, oh, that was... Now you know what it's like. They can just was... accuse you of anything. <laughs> yes, they can. So California has 11, I think it's 11 military bases. Um, would you keep those, and would California have nuclear weapons as its own country? So, yes, California has been very specific to say that we're only going to do four things. If you believe that California would be better off as a nation, not perfect, but better off, great. If you uh, believe that we can only use legal mechanisms to get there, peaceful mechanisms to raise the argument, and that California is about diversity and there's no room to argue for that, against right. that, then you're in. We don't really take policy stances on a bunch of other things, so we haven't taken a stance on those issues. What we said is that it would be negotiated between okay, elected officials think, what in California as, and as officials one of the in the driving American government. Forces, as one of the driving forces behind this, and as someone who's not, speaking for myself, going to move back to California under any circumstances, 
should I have something to worry about? Are you going to be a nuclear-armed left-wing power like Maduro's Venezuela, for example, but with nuclear weapons? Uh, so I'm gonna, I will answer the question. I absolutely believe in not deflecting. I get it. Um, but yes, California has not taken a stance, and we're not going to, uh, because we only ask people for four things. But in my opinion, obviously, you look at the history of California, and you can see where the characters are. Uh, California does not like nuclear war. It doesn't like nuclear anything, so likely that may be gone. It's also wow. the number one place for foreign direct investment, tourism, international students, and trade. So we don't think it's actually a target for being invaded. It doesn't really? go around telling countries what it can do, bossing <laughs> well, them around, invading them, and you've disrupting got, their democracy. You've got an international border. I mean, why wouldn't California become satellite parking for Tijuana in about 20 minutes if it didn't have means to defend itself? I mean, the only reason it doesn't happen now is because well, the federal government's protecting, let's be honest. Well, there's a difference between border control and military. And we would always have the border. Uh, the California Highway Patrol provides a second line of border deterrence a few miles north of the Mexico-California border. And we would continue uh -huh. to use the existing infrastructure that California has and make it more robust through better partnership with Mexico. We would not open the floodgates and let everybody from Latin America in. That's economically stupid. Our movement has been about good economics. Too and late. Growing the California you already economy. did. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. I wish um, we had more actually, time. Actually, we didn't. Oh, I, I, I was just I was just back home the other day. I think you did. <laughs> but Marcus, we can debate I, it when we're back in the in the Golden State. Thanks yeah, a lot for fine. joining it's us Yeah, that's fine. It's just tonight. the federal government runs the border, so we don't actually have the ability to open the gates. Only they do. Yeah. yeah. Well, it hasn't improved California. Thanks a lot, Marcus. Great to see you. Uh, that's a fact. Hey, if you like this video, please help my channel grow by liking, sharing, and subscribing. It really helps to get the word out there, and it super motivates me to make more videos. Thanks a lot.